StockX was always one of those apps I had heard about but had never tried myself. I had recently got into sneakers and I was tired of going into Finish Line and Foot Locker, Marshalls, really anywhere and not finding the shoes I wanted. I would see a nice pair of shoes on somebody else asking where they got them and they said StockX. So I decided to dive in, give this my first try for StockX and I'm going to tell you about my first two orders through StockX and how they went. Come check this out. going on everybody thank you for stopping by the channel if you haven't yet consider hitting that like and subscribe button i greatly appreciate each and every one of you that stops by the channel for anybody new here i know we're going to talk about something new if you do not know me my name is seth some people know me as skinny some people know me as iowa crafted beard i am doing beard product reviews i review all kinds of things beard related but i've recently gotten to shoes i'm starting to build my shoe collection and today i'm going to talk to you about the app called stock x how it worked for me, how I made my first two purchases, how long they took to get to me, and what I thought about the quality and the timely manner that they arrived. So let's get into it and talk about some shoes. So as I had mentioned, I like to use the app StockX. They've got all kinds of cool things on there, really rare stuff. They got sneakers, they've got streetwear, they've got collectibles, they've got watches and handbags. What I use it typically for is sneakers and you have the ability to buy and sell sneakers on StockX. StockX has a great variety of shoes. You know, you've got your Jordans, you've got your Nikes, your Yeezys, your Adidas. The nice thing is it is a resale item. So these are going to be a little bit higher than retail, but you're not going to be able to go pick these up at a finish line or a Foot Locker unless you somehow got in line and you got word that they were coming out this day and you were like first in line. And usually guys, you know, sell them out within the first few minutes. So if you didn't get there, you can go to StockX and buy these products, but you are going to pay a higher asking price. They do list them. They've got their sales prices. You can bid on these items and they've also got the lowest asking price. Me, I don't like to sit around and bid on certain items. So I always go for that lowest asking price. Go ahead and just buy them. They do add a few more fees on there. So that price you're seeing isn't the price you're necessarily going to pay. You've got shipping. They also 100% authenticate these shoes for you. So that is going to work into the price that you are going to pay also. Then also they show the graph. How are the shoes doing? If you're planning on reselling them, they show a graph showing you how the shoes have done over the last year. If they've been out for a year, they also show your dead stock range. So if you are a dead stock person, like I will probably be with a few shoes. This just means shoes that you will never wear. They might never hit the ground. They're basically brand new inbox. That is dead stock. So that they do tell you, you know, what's the range? What are those sitting on? Are they sitting on like $400 to $600 dead stock? As long as you don't touch them, the value on these usually won't go down too much. They will usually keep skyrocketing. And the longer you hold on to them, the longer you don't wear them, the more someone would pay for them if that is the route you're looking for. So far, I've been using the StockX app for about a month. It's been very easy for me to use. I've enjoyed it. They do have a nice personal profile option. It'll show you any shoes that you've bought that are in route to you or they're heading to StockX to get authenticated then to you. They also have a selling option, vice versa. You know, if you're sending off shoes when they get to StockX, when they're hot going to the guy that bought them. They also have an option for a personal profile. You can add any shoes that you've bought or any shoes that you've gotten through StockX and it'll show how those are doing against the market value of those shoes. And then they also have a following option where you can put any shoes you can go through StockX, say, hey, I wanna follow these shoes. I wanna see you know, when they're gonna start dipping in price, when I might be able to snag them for a better price than what they are now. So they've got a lot of great options for you guys to check out there. But let's get into it. Let's get into my first two purchases through StockX. Like I said, I've got a third pair on its way, should be here this week. But my first pair I got in was these Jordan 1 Pine Green and Black. I don't want to get into them too much. I just want to let you guys know how it went for me. Uh, when I received them, they do come in their Nike original box here. So they do come in the original box. I've got my second pair in here for you guys of shoes. And they come in here nice and neat, looking sharp. They don't ship they ship in this box, but they're inside another box. So you're not going to have a Nike box sitting on your doorstep waiting for somebody to come by and just snag them up. So that is a nice thing that they do. They also give you this nice little note card here that kind of tells you about StockX. 
Just a quick read. It says, by now you already know how StockX is the live market place for sneakers, streetwear, collectibles, handbags, and watches. But we're about so much more than that. StockX is about access, which is true. They give you access to shoes that you probably could not get somewhere else. So that is a nice little note. Kind of just fills you in about StockX. They also ship you this nice sticker. I always enjoy stickers. I'll find somewhere to smack that on. And then you get the bonus laces. Most shoes come with a second set of laces. These pine green ones came with the uh, the black already slightly laced up, but then they came with the red if I want to go for like a, a nice Christmas look. I dig that. I dig that the second pair of laces are there and they always get 100% authenticated before they get to you. So they go from the guy that sold them to you they go to StockX. StockX authenticates them. They make sure the box is right. They make sure these have not been worn. You are getting exactly what you paid for. And then they put a verified uh, little tag on here, letting you know your shoes have been verified authentic. They're 100% authentic. I also use an app called Check Check, which is, you know, a dollar to three dollars, depending on how fast you want your results. And I just run them through. They just ask for a few pictures of the shoes in the box just to make sure, you know, my shoes are legit. And that is just another option you can go with. But I ordered these pine greens one day separate from these grays here. And they showed up about a week apart. So this first one, I got a little tease with this first one. These showed up a week, and I'm saying a week after I ordered them. I ordered them on a Thursday. They arrived the next Thursday all the way from Hong Kong. Very quick shipping with these. And they are beautiful. I don't want to get into them too much. We'll talk about the actual shoes themselves sometime soon but they are beautiful you can tell these are dead stock nobody's ever worn these they are just beautiful very happy with those and then these guys here also were dead stock very nice i don't want to drop this all over the place very nice kicks here i absolutely love the way these look once again you got that verified but like i said i ordered these a day apart these showed up in a week these showed up in two weeks we all know how shipping is right now. It's a little crazy. I've heard stories of during the holidays before I got into buying shoes. I've heard about the holidays that it's almost taken a month to get these shoes. But my third pair is going to go just like these. I ordered them last Thursday and they're going to be arriving this Thursday. So almost exactly a week again for shoes. So it kind of varies, you know, how fast they're going to show up to you. But they do do it pretty quickly and they are, you got to keep in mind, they are getting authenticated. So you don't want to buy a shoe and you're buying a fake off some site and they don't get authenticated and now you're getting screwed over. You got a fake shoe. You got a shoe nobody wants. Uh, and if you're a collector, that's definitely a shoe you're going to be pissed off about receiving. So take that into mind when you are buying with StockX. It's going to take a little bit of time to you. Uh, but like I said, it's taken a week to two weeks uh, for three different pairs that I've gotten. So they, they do go fairly quickly. So if you guys want to go check out StockX, I'm going to talk more about shipping and uh, possibly resale once I get into that. But if you guys want to check out all kinds of different sneakers, uh, I'm going to put that on my channel. I'm going to bring this into the beard community with me. Uh, you guys can check out my beard stuff, that stuff you're into. I look forward to building my sneaker collection, learning more about shoes. So if you guys want to keep following along, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. As I tell all my beard family guys, peace out. I love you and we'll see you next time. Yeah.